Hello, it's Punk Bunny, and in today's video, I'm going to be designing a new outfit for my avatar. I'm going to be making a punk style idol outfit, kind of like this. And so here we have my avatar in her current outfit. And what I'm going to do is find something I can use kind of as a starting point. Uh, to kind of base off of my outfit and this little sailor top kind of looks like it would work perfectly So what I'm gonna do is start sketching some guidelines that match my outfit and I'm gonna keep going back and forth looking at those sketch lines and looking at my avatar to make sure that they line up properly and that they don't look a little weird or anything like that. And for the skirt, I'm going to go out of the box, and since I'm not doing this all as a dress, I'm going to utilize these long pants as the skirt piece, because I've noticed in Vroid Studio that the dresses and the skirts, the colliders don't work all too well. And so I'm going to be trying this to see how well this works. I feel like this will work a little bit better and using different programs for my avatar for her moving. So I'm just editing these pants to make it look more like the skirt piece, flaring it out, uh, flattening it so that it's not really pants-like. Hopefully my idea will, uh, will show in the end of this. So I'm going to edit these sleeves to make the sleeves look more like my outfit. And just kind of tuck this shirt in if I can to make it look more like it's kind of cohesive. Like it's not really a shirt. We're going to make it look like it's all attached in the end, hopefully. So here I'm just trying to figure out where exactly I want to position the belt. And I hope that while I'm doing this, I kind of give you inspiration to work on your own outfits. If you are deciding to become a VTuber using a 3D model.
so again, I'm just looking back and forth, looking at those guidelines that I'm drawing and just envisioning it, what it will look like as a final piece. And now it's time to do those same guidelines for the skirt. This is going to be a little bit tricky because there's a huge gap where the pants are, but hopefully if I line things up correctly, it will look like a skirt piece. And I'm going to do her little side piece over here. I know it's a really odd outfit design, but uh, I'm hoping that it looks cute enough that when I finish my character here in the 3D form, that it turns out all right. Sometimes I, ideas look so much better in 2D form than they do in 3D. And I'm still not a professional at making outfits and texturing, so we shall see. As for the stockings, I'm just going to draw them in real quickly. Nothing super hard. And we're not going to forget her collar. Not too bad so far. As for the shoes, since I'm just keeping them black boots, I'm going to scroll through and see if any of these defaults will work. And I actually, I really like these. I think they'll work. I, I don't feel like doing anything super fancy with them, so. I'm just going to change the height and everything, make sure they match my character. It's weird how the laces do that. That's kind of weird. But let's, uh, let's, let's try to keep them on the shoe. There we go. And I'm not really a heel person, so keep the heel flat. All right, and now we're in paint tool sai. So what I'm doing here is just outlining my rough sketch, the little guide sketch that I made. So I'll just go over that very quickly and the colors that match the outfit. And for some reason, I don't exactly know why. The symmetry tool doesn't work when you're doing like the, the line like this. It only works in like the other type thing. So you'll see me erase and copy lines a lot because I want to make sure that the lines kind of stay the same on both sides. And I'm just following through, following those little guide sketches.
So see, I really, I want to keep these both the same so that they match. And so just, just copying these little sketch layers or tracing them, tracing these little sketch layers. It's a fairly simple process, this part. It's very time consuming, but the end process will, will be worth it. Now it's time for the sleeves. And the belt I'm going to do in a separate layer because I feel I will probably keep the belt separate in this little file that I'm going to save just to make things easier if I ever want to change it or if I find something that needs to be edited. I will fill this in and after I fill all of this in in the colors, I'm going to take a look and see what it looks like. So we're just going to fill in all of these colors, just kind of do a rough, very rough version so these are going to be the chains. So there, there's the base part of the shirt. Now let's work on the skirt piece. All right, and so we're working on the skirt piece and I'm just going over those sketch lines again, just like I did with the top. And also, I don't know if you've noticed, but while I'm going over those sketch lines, I'm also looking at the guide for the pants as well to make sure that all the seams are going to match up on the sides. And these little <laughs> frillies may look a little weird, but I'm hoping they'll look better once the outfit is complete. And now we're going to do the base fill in for the skirt.
And now it's time for the stockings and the collar. This is probably the easiest part um, because they're fairly simple pieces. gonna color that in as well. Alright, and now we're gonna bring those bases over to make sure that everything kind of looks alright, and it kind of does. It kind of looks like my picture. Not too bad. We're gonna test it out, make sure the movements... And see how the skirt like isn't colliding with her hand over there on the side? Alright, and now we're gonna do some tweaking to try to get this shirt to blend in a little bit more. Kind of make it look like it's a full dress, not a shirt and a skirt. And this is probably one of the coolest things about VWord Studio is that they have all of these options. You just gotta play around with them and learn how to utilize them best. And so what I'm gonna do here, since this is probably like the best setting, but this is peeking out my, uh, my little skirt here, I'll probably end up editing my skirt. See, when I do that, it looks too, too much. That's perfect, but those are peeking out. And I'm just double checking, there's absolutely no way to stop it from peeking out without it looking like a skirt and not a dress. Again, play with all the settings that you have. And so this is what I'm going to do for the skirt to make it blend in. I'm just going to add a belt piece here so that the belt piece blends in to the belt piece on the shirt. Ta-da! Problem fixed. And I'm going to use this blue as like a sketch guide to see how big I need to make that. And now we're going to do more guides. These are going to be guides for the shadows and highlights. So red is going to be shadows. And then later on you will see me use yellow, which will be for highlights. And I noticed this end here kind of looks weird, so I'm gonna sketch a little new guy to make that look a little bit better too. I actually don't like the bottom of it at all, so we're gonna fix that. Yeah, that looks better.
And now we're going to do shadow guides for the top. We're also going to make sure that these seams are all matching too and that they're not off-centered or anything. And again, I'm just trying to envision how these marks will become shadows on my character. So I'm going back and forth looking at the marks in my character. Looks pretty good. All right, so now we're back in Paint Tool Sci. I am going to be fixing up a few things and doing some shading in this section. gonna fix these little ends here and I feel like my frills weren't that great in the uh, the first base version anyways this time, I'm going to copy these and keep the these pieces going up so that they'll look more, more of like that scallop-like shape. And of course they're going to look weird here because they're on pants. But you got to trust the process. And I'm just going to fix these up because this shape up here is different from the shape down there. Just copy, 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 copy. And then what I'm trying to do is select these pieces for some reason, I'm doing it manually until I figure out, oh, why don't I just select them by the group? It's so much easier. Use this as a learning experience. Uh, it is sometimes helpful to keep line pieces separated as well.
We're just gonna fix these up. And then fix up this side. And now I'm going to bring in my plaid texture that I'm going to be using for my character. And we're going to add it to my skirt and the top. pretty nice. I'm super excited with how this is coming out so far. I'm hoping again that the end will look just as good. Alright, so we're gonna start here with the skirt with the shading. Shading's always like the hardest part for me. I'm always worried if I'm shading a little too light, if I'm shading a little too dark, if what I'm envisioning isn't gonna come across properly. And then I want to blend this in to make sure that it blends well with the line art pieces. And now I'm gonna go and uh, just just work on more of the skirt itself. So I'm just shading in, using those lines as little guides. And I'm going to copy that shading over to this side and I'm going to change the way this bottom piece is shaded because it's going to be going in different directions.
and we're back over to the skirt. I'm quite excited to finish all of the shading and everything and see how it actually looks all together. So while I was creating this outfit originally, I was thinking about what I um, I was wearing before, so like I still am incorporating pretty much the same color purples, just stylizing it a little bit different because my name is Punk Bunny and I wanted to have something more along the lines of a punk style. My other outfit is quite girly and so I feel like this this new outfit is going to match me a little bit better. Now I'm just shading the, the sleeves and the inner part of the shirt. And now it's time for the little sailor top piece. And I want to make sure that there are no gaps or missing, missing little areas of color. Now it's time to shade in this bow. I'm just looking at them, making sure that they they kind of look all right. I feel like they do. I am gonna fix up this part right here. Because if you look at the the outfit guide, the boobs are aren't that close together. So just fixing this little shade area here. And now it's time to shade the stockings.
And the stockings are always going to be like the the hardest part to kind of get shaded like on the ends to make sure that they're like matching when they come around the leg part. So if I don't get those shade colors match up correctly, it's gonna it's gonna look a little weird. Like she's gonna have a line going down her leg. And also sometimes if you don't over color a little like this there'll be a little gap in the clothing piece. So right here, some of the color was poking out on the neck. We're going to fix that up. We're going to work on coloring up this line art a bit more closer to the actual clothing piece. I'm trying to figure out how thick I want to make this part here. more shading and highlighting. Trying to do this outfit initially in VWord Studio was actually quite um, intimidating because it was already quite hard for me to make um, my past outfit.
just gonna finish up by shading in the line art pieces on the skirt bottom. And I want to make sure that the shading here in this part right here matches up. It's probably one of the tougher spots to shade. All right, and now for the collar, I'm going to add in the little chain bits. And for the shirt, we're going to add the chain bits on here as well. We're going to add the belt piece. And then we're going to add the chain pieces for this belt. doing some minor tweaking and making sure everything looks correct. Now we're back in VWord Studio and I say I don't think it looks bad. It actually came out quite better than I was expecting. The little frillies don't look too bad. And so here is my new outfit. Make sure I save it properly. All in all, I'm really happy with how this turned out. This looked just pretty much like what my uh, my sketch was. And I like the way it flows when she moves. Let's try a few more little poses here. So see, it doesn't doesn't look weird when she's walking. It, it looks like a dress. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Um, I'm pretty happy with this. I hope you are and I hope you look forward to seeing me in my new outfit from now on. Please let me know your thoughts and if I have inspired you to create your own clothes. Let me know in the comments below. And so with that, I'm going to be signing off and I will see you in the next video. Bye!